Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm Rivia and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at some back to school hacks because school is starting. My school has already started on September 1st. So you guys, I might not be able to post three times a week. I will try my best every week, but I might be posting two times a week sometimes, but I will try my best. I hope you guys can understand because now I'm in eighth grade. So, so I, I will have less time, but I hope I can still post as much as I can. And if you're excited for this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's get started with the video. So secrets your teacher doesn't want you to know. Search for Hemingway Editor. This website grades your essay out of 10 and highlights for you everything that needs to be improved. Oh wow, that seems pretty helpful. That seems kind of cool. Like you can see, like before submitting it, like how good you did. If your student stops scrolling, you're gonna wanna hear what I'm about to say. Okay. I'm about to share with you guys three life hacks that every student should know, but I bet you didn't. Hack okay. number one, Wikipedia articles can be super long, right? Yeah. Well, did you know that if you replace this word EN with simple, It'll simplify the entire article for you. Hack number Seriously, if you just write, if you just put simple in, like, if you just change it to simple, it will make it simpler for you. That's actually, that seems pretty helpful. But also, Wikipedia is not the most trusted website, but I mean, it still helps. any slides on any subject online by following this step. Enter the okay. name of your class, file, and then two dots PPT. So, macronomics, I don't know how to say that, but file type P dot PPT. Okay. You will find tons of slides and PowerPoints on the subject that you're studying. Hack number three, That's if you forgot pretty. your textbook at school, did you know that you could find it online? All you need to do is put the name of your textbook, file type, two dots PDF. You might just be able to find your entire textbook in PDF version. You might not even have to pay for it. Bonus hack, follow me for the easiest okay. semester you're going to have in your life. If Those your students stop... All, all seem... Like, I don't know if they work, but they seem pretty helpful. But... I don't know if those work. How to make any essay longer. How to make so any when you're writing essay. your essays, change because to the particular reason for the circumstance. Change this means okay, to this so actively you basically, demonstrates... Okay, so you basically just change small words into like longer words. Okay, so like to make it seem longer. Okay. That change in conclusion to to sum up everything that has been stated so far. Change for oh, to for okay. the exact purpose of, and change like to along the lines of. Share this with all your friends. Okay, that actually seems like it works because you know sometimes you have to write a certain amount of pages or something, and you know sometimes. You can't just, you can't write something not that long. So if you just replace it with these, you'll probably have a way longer essay than before. This hack seems like it works. Okay, a word count hack. So you highlight it. You highlight it. Oh, so you basically just like... Okay, so this is how to get all test answers. Okay, I don't support cheating. Of course I don't. But for the sake of this video, I'm showing you guys this. Right click. How does someone find this out though? Like does someone just randomly click button like right click and stuff and then they somehow find it out like who was the first person that found out this hack but guys don't cheat this is how to cheat on any test with your friends so a b c d and e's in the middle okay don't be suspicious yeah of course but like what happens when your teacher sees you moving your hands on your desk? Like, what are you doing right there? Like, why are you moving your hand all the time? Notes I take in class. Oh my gosh, how? That literally looks like someone printed it. That looks literally looks like a font on, like, Google Docs or something. And it literally looks like it's a font. Versus notes you do at home. What do you mean? They all look good. Okay, wow. This person... This is someone you want to take notes from. This person has everything organized. 
and it's super easy. Wow, this person is very organized. Kahoot hack. Okay, you go to Kahoot winner. Go to the settings, always correct. Wow, okay. I don't know if this works. I mean, if it does, then I guess that's pretty cool, but I mean, I don't know. Study hacks every student must know. Okay. Need to memorize something? Read it, Read it 10 times, 10 times. say it out loud uh, 10, 10 times, times, write it down twice. Now it will stick okay. in your head. Up next, the best times to study. Okay, yeah, our teacher always tells us that, like, if you write something down, you'll rem well, remember it better, and if you, like, write it and read it a lot, then you'll remember it. 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., your brain functions 100%. Seriously, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., that's the best time to study? Seriously, because when I wake up, if, if I had to wake up at like 4 a.m. to study, I would like, my brain would be tired. Like, I feel like it's better if I like sleep in till like I'm well rested enough and then study. Because if I have to wake up so early, I'm just tired and I won't be able to focus. 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., your brain functions 50%. Nighttime, mm -hmm. your brain only functions 20%. Um, I don't think that's, I mean, I don't know if that's true because I always, you know, study, I mean, I study, you know, some after school and at, like, nighttime, and, you know, sometimes in the morning before I have a test, you know, like, like, in the morning I wake up, but then in, in the morning I'm always tired, but at, like, nighttime or, like, after school, I usually study, and then, you know, I do good because, like, it's right before, but, I mean, I don't know. Next, cool trick to boost your, cool memory. To boost your memory. When studying for a test, chew gum. Then chew the same exact flavor gum during oh. the exam. It will I think I've heard this before because like your brain kind of like remembers. But if this is true, then that would be great. But also, I don't think they allow you to chew gum in class. Like, so I don't know how this would work. Memorize but what you study. And the last one. Want to do better on your next test? Take a walk before Take the exam. Walk. Exercise boosts memory and brain power. The 20 minutes of activity before exam can improve your performance. Really? Well, too bad I can't do that because um, right before my class, I can't just be like, oh, I'm going to go for a little walk. Like, I can't just leave. But I mean, unless your test is like first thing in the morning, like your first class, then you could take a walk. But these hacks seem pretty good. Okay, so this is how to like cheat. Seriously, you cut the eraser and then you put answers. You just deflate your balloon and put it on your nails. Wow, you're really gonna like put it on your nails. But also, how big can you, how much information can you put? You'd have to write super small. Like, look how big my nail is. Like, that's not big. And also, your teacher would be like, why are you checking at your nails all the time? Right? Oh, how to change. Oh, wow, you can just change it. You know, you can also do that little trick with the F. If you get, like, an F, then you can just... I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But you can just, like, change it. What? Seriously? But anyone else behind you can literally see that you're cheating. And, you know, they could tell. Like, that's also... Oh, I've seen this one before. Yeah... But also, our teacher doesn't. Our teachers don't allow us to have soda in class. Only water. You just put it in there. Are you even allowed to take your hairbrush to class? Seriously, I don't think you're even allowed to take. I mean, you might be allowed to take a hairbrush to class. I've never really tried it because I don't need it really. But yeah, how to get straight A's without studying? Okay. Okay. What do you do? It doesn't even show the hack. It just says that. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to touch the top of the hand sanitizer. Okay. If your school uses Go Guardian to block sites like mine, yeah, it does. It'll, at least it used to on, like at my old school. You go to unblock sites.xyz and type the URL of the site you want and you can go to any site 
but wouldn't that still be in your history like they can still see your history so just don't go on any sites that you're not allowed to go on your school Chromebook because they can still see your history how to sneak food in class you can just put it in your mask and then when the teacher comes you can put your mask back on oh oh and your teacher wants it hmm okay this is how to not sneak food seriously you're literally putting it on the outside candy control this is not real hmm you don't find anything on this person what's the hack though what you just ignore that they're not even showing the hack though But ew, would you really eat it off your foot, off your shoe, and wouldn't your teacher literally see that? Oh, ew, ew, you're drinking juice out of your shoe. Okay, no, um, sneaking food is not worth that. I'm sorry, no. How to sneak food into class. You get a marker. You can take that top off. Wait, what? Take out the ink storage, clean it out. Now you can put like, then like pretzel things like pretzel sticks okay but I did not know you could take off the back of that that seems pretty cool That's okay whoa that seems pretty cool okay let's see how to make this okay you cut a whole lot in Pringles yeah wrap it around in like paper to make it look like a pencil holder Yep, Oreos. And then put... Okay. But also, you'd have to be really quick, and you'd have to be really quiet when you're eating. Like, you'd have to just quickly take it out and then put it, and then eat it. And be quiet when you're chewing. Okay. Oh, yeah, wipes, baby wipes. And I feel like these, the wipes one could work because, you know with everything going on, like, if you bring a pack of wipes with you, I'm sure, like, it wouldn't be a big problem. Okay, yeah, clean out a glue stick. And then you can put Skittles or M&Ms. Okay, that seems like a pretty good hack. I mean, I'm not really going to try these because I don't want to get in trouble or anything. And also, we have lunch. So, yeah, but anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these hacks and I hope you guys have a great school year this year and hopefully things can go back to normal and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!